You mean uh, that's something that yeah. I recorded from other theater. Yeah. yeah. It looks sometimes that donors are a bit in hurry to show result. But uh, and say and uh, but we are addressing big, big issues. Yeah. Yeah. So a message that we could collect from the field, which yeah. I feel I would do, yeah. is to perhaps, if yeah. I'm correct, uh, is to communicate that processes, organic processes, take time. Yeah. That yeah. it's important to leave to to leave the seed on the ground yeah. and let the tree grow. Yeah. Yeah. And not to hurry up. Yeah. And yeah. and maybe yeah. pump it artificially. Yeah. But let yeah. it grow organically. Yeah. And so that that change becomes stable yeah. and, and yeah. valid. While yeah. instead, if we if we are in hurry to show results, yeah. we yeah. may do something that looks good at the beginning, yeah. Yeah. but actually is not well rooted. Yeah. Yeah. Is this? Uh, do you agree with that? Is this something? Is, do you do you also would like to send this message across to to the donors? I fully agree with you, and that's what I say that donors need to look at the changes in a longer term perspective because bringing changes. Uh, particularly those changes which are long-lasting, stable changes, organic process. And we need to work with the communities um, in a very, very systematic way. We need to use the local knowledge base. We need to use local resources. And we need to provide leadership to, um, uh, to the local communities. And they need to lead the process. And so that takes longer time. And uh, we also need to be a bit more flexible because I see sometimes donors, they come with a very different perspective. And uh, But if you look at the local context, it's a changing context, a very dynamic context here and so the donors also need to be more flexible, you know, they should be respecting to, to the local context and the local realities. But I fully agree with you that the donor also need to give a, a, a sufficient time to allow thorough community processes and to bring the changes which are long lasting and not just a quick change and then when agencies like concern or our donor supports are ended, those changes collapse or changes uh, uh, gone. Yeah. So in order to make a long lasting and sustainable changes we need to have a very very thorough and systematic process and that's why my message would be to donors to allow a sufficient time to do those that process. One of the things I'm looking is that there are projects that have set objectives yeah. and uh, you achieve those objectives or sometimes all, sometimes only part, yeah. and then you move to another point. Yeah. This is the, the chain, the, 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 the project cycle chain. Yeah. But something which I feel it goes underestimated, but is very important, mm -hmm. is the knowledge circle process. Yeah. Yeah. Each project, each activity, each uh, challenge, including those which were apparently failure, yeah. But produce fresh knowledge, yeah. new knowledge, which is circulated in a different number of activities. Yeah. And this creation and sharing of knowledge, I yeah. think, is a very strong determinant factor of uh, empowering communities and enabling them uh, to address their problems. Yeah. Yeah. Why? My point. What I ask to myself, and maybe you can help me understand, why this process of creation and sharing of knowledge? That's totally lost in the understanding and evaluating the projects on the field. Well, um, uh, from my perspective uh, and from Concern's perspective, we have been very, very careful about um, about learnings from um, our uh, projects and our programs. In fact, we, after each evaluation, we have been looking at key learnings in a very, very systematic way. And um, those learnings uh, are used in terms of developing a new phase, new steps of the project. But in general, uh, uh, it has been one of the uh, big gap in development sector in Sierra Leone. I see there have been a lot of learnings for, from the work of different organizations, NGOs, donors, from uh, even agencies, but there is a very less sharing of those learnings. And uh, I, I haven't come across many agencies that documenting those learnings and sharing across. And so very often you find, you know, agencies are reinventing the 
wills and uh, uh, there have been some coordination forums going on but those coordination forums are uh, not very effective those have been largely limited to share some information but uh, not going beyond that sharing key learnings and then complementing each other to improve program qualities to make changes in the lives of people uh, at concern level we have uh, developed a learning strategy and we have a very very strong focus on documenting learning and also developing a culture of learning within organization and so we are uh, looking at also how we can improve communications within organization we are also looking at how do we capture learnings from different aspects of program in a more effective way uh, not only from uh, through evaluations not only through uh, reviews and monitoring but also there's a lot of learning can take place where if we create a space for staff where staff can talk to each other we have a big team of 150 staff and if they can talk more with each other they can share a lot of learnings uh, from from different different program teams so we are creating a learning spaces with Within organization within our uh, functioning uh, and then and the third big area that we are looking in terms of promoting learning is to build individual capacity of uh, staff and uh, so we have a lot of focus on building capacity of national staff we have been organizing a number of trainings number of exchange widgets number of coaching mentoring support to our national staff to build a individual capacity so coming back to the the bigger point of learning Ma, I would say summarize saying that yes this is one of the biggest one of the biggest issues in Sierra Leone uh, where not many uh, agencies they are documenting and sharing learning there's no systematic way uh, of sharing learning uh, across agencies and uh, and this is one of the biggest gaps I feel in, uh, in Sierra Leone of course there have been uh, some initiatives taken by few agencies like concern uh, this year we d produce a document called storage of change is a compilation of 18 human stories showing positive changes in the lives of people with who have been working in Sierra Leone and we shared it widely across uh, development partners and, uh, and other NGOs in in Sierra Leone and it has been highly highly appreciated it also have been a good learning for our own team so there have been some examples but it needs to be further strengthened and uh, not only by one or two agencies but in general there should be a culture of learning across development partners.